and Queen Swissy listening to extremely loud music. Uh, it's hey, it's Domino Rapa. We're back, bitches. Hell yeah. Get into the game and maybe it'll be more tolerable. Oh yeah. I'm getting a good. fucking football ad right now. Nice. <laughs> Love football uh, ads. Dangarampa 2, twitch.tv slash magic abridged. I cannot remember what we were doing last time. Uh, uh, check the, what is it, F2 maybe? F3, one of the Fs gives you a backlog. Oh, that wow. one. It's lonely and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Okay, so I just, uh, Monokuma came in, told us about the... Uh, yeah, Monokuma. Oh, there was a Monokuma theater. Oh, I think this is just after he announced the killing game. Just after? I thought oh. it had been announced for a little bit. No. Oh, I guess not. No, he just took over and didn't really announce anything. So. Yeah, and then he's like, BT Dub's killing game. That's right. Okay. There was also that comedy show where you press the button and then comedy happened. Oh, yeah. Or you could laugh track, <laughs> a feature that I wish was present for the rest of the game. God, yeah, I wish that was, like, just a hotkey I could hit. Just press F to laugh. Uh, okay. Here we go. Laugh at the pain. By the way, I'm eating some ravioli, so if I seem oddly quiet, that may have something to do with it. That's fine, oh, I'm hey, the main character. <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? Not everyone is as strong as Byakia. Or as large. I've never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but it's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still able to live. But this is different. Uh, I'm sorry, I was being too negative. No, I understand. I'm the same as well. But now that we've talked, I feel assured once again. Sweet. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this is what'll make us cling to hope. Y yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'll be heading to the restaurant now. Nice. Deuces. I'll head that way too. Oh, so many people. It's weird playing a Danganronpa game and everybody's alive again. Right? Nurse. Hey, good morning. I forgot that was me for a second. Yeah, Stop preventing good. me from eating my <laughs> fucking ravioli. No. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> well, what is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? My first time greeting someone, but I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it one more time? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what kind of life has she had? <laughs> Jesus Christ. One four feet from this bitch. Jeez, I'm so sleepy. Mr. Hamhands is so selfish. It's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping in. But if we need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating it together? Well, I like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Is it? <laughs> um, eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fats. Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, listening to this ugly bitch's crying in the morning makes me so sick. Fuck. Yoko, you definitely have the <laughs> ultimate bad attitude. Ooh, got him. Fucking yikes. <laughs> Uh, That's what you. was her? No, fucking Good morning, Hajime. Is there Hajime. pepperoni in this? It... Is this a slice of pepperoni in this rabbit you believe? <laughs> <laughs> what if it is? What are you going to do about it? Eat it, but like... <laughs> well, then shut up okay. and eat ravioli. All right, I will. <laughs> Fuck you. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Jeez, what's with the sullen face? Well, I guess... Oh, wait, shit. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I had a lot on my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever get the answer I'm looking for. Man, just for kicks, I should... 
prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Now, just so you know, it's going to be a girls-only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. Damn it. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Oh, I promise. It's based on every girl talk I've ever been, and it's just as stupid and asinine. <laughs> yeah. I'll go on ahead. Nope. You better hurry Nobody and go to the Nobody talks about anything important. <laughs> the, ah, jeez. The restaurant's right there. Careful. Uh, what have I done? Oh, I clicked out of the screen. <laughs> There we go. Good job. Nice. Oh, check on your pet. Oh, shit. He might be dead. Or, like, just buried in shit. One of those. Uh, uh, uh. Pet, please. You're alive. <sighs> you got dookie, though. Flush that, that shit. Button. Really need to install a flushing handle in there. Hmm. Now you just press the button and it just does it. Good nom nom nomming! I don't know what that means. What? <laughs> I thought up a greeting for when we all ate breakfast together. It's a revolutionary new phrase that combines good morning and nom 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 at the same time. This is definitely the new hip thing to say. In fact, I'll make sure it's the new hip thing to say. Good nom nom nomming. So I'm going to go tell everyone. Even if she makes it popular, it'll <laughs> still be limited to this island. It'll be extremely popular with around 15 teens I know. <laughs> good morning, Chiaki. I'm invisible. Oh, wait. <laughs> nope, I'm visible now. Shit. Um, good morning. What was that pause for? I'm fucking busy. <laughs> I'm in the middle of doing combo strings. I couldn't really reply. Doing I think I was what? A, I think I was a little bit higher. Okay, here we are. There you go. I guess it's almost time. I'll go to the restaurant then. Hi, Mala Guy. Did I interrupt something she was doing? Yes. Oh, sorry. she just told you that. No. Fucking chelp. I am a. Did you call me a chelp? I said chump, but I was also choking on ravioli when I said it. Gotcha. Yeah, I heard chelp. Several people were already at the restaurant. You know, I think I did British last time, and I think we're going to go switch back to vaguely European. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be at least one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's you. Oh. <laughs> but in French. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that was. Oh, here we are. This is good. It's not quite British, but it's... Cheerio. Uh, I think I need to emphasize my all of my consonants, and maybe that will take me to where I need to be. Oh, yes. This is it. I think. Excuse me, princess. Could you look at the text on the screen? It says, but nobody was talking. Not a single <laughs> word. While they I mean, sat there, silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, they sat there. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. Bwong. All at once. Is everyone here? Huh? It seems Fuyuhiko is not here yet. <laughs> Maybe he already got hit, killed. Yeah, dead bodies already. Don't go killing people off. Sorry, I think she was lower, actually. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. Why the fuck? Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Could he? Is he thinking of a plan to kill somebody by himself? I like what you're doing there. <laughs> Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party tonight. Oh, hell yeah. Huh? P -p -p party that's right, a p, p party that will last from sundown to sunrise. Party till the sun comes up? <laughs> Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Hey, now, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Let's throw ourselves a little murder party. <laughs> <laughs> 
and everyone's invited. I don't like the sound of that, but still, we really shouldn't be partying. Um, hold on. I agree with Biakia. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. Earn some of those fucking friendship crystals or whatever the fuck they're called. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party. Doesn't matter why I'm doing it. I just want to okay. throw a fucking party. <laughs> <laughs> I was just in the mood. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You say that with such significance. It's decided. <laughs> By who? <laughs> We're having you. ourselves a party. I agreed to nothing. <laughs> Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry for trying to get everything for Mmm, good. <laughs> Why? Why did I do that? Uh, <laughs> it's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Well, it's very hard. She says, with a mouth stuffed full of ravioli. <laughs> that good old breakfast ravioli. Nah, in that the case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. <clears throat> Fuck. Where is the party going to be held? Will this restaurant be okay? No. no. Fuck that. <laughs> No, fuck that. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. That's not... I, I don't think that's how any of this works. An enclosed space? <coughs> if the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Nor will the cottages, with so many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. But if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. No. Pressing up against the ladies without sneaking aboard the women-only train and drag. I feel so lucky. What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. That's... Not objectively true. untrue. <laughs> Your confidence is seriously impressive. Then how about that old-looking building near this hotel? That run-down place? Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? Indeed. Indeed. However, Monami has forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. I have heard your conversation, heard it with all my very own ears. All both of them. All two of them. <laughs> I have, I have good ears, because I'm a rabbit. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Then what is the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Um... Ah, she looks so disappointed. Well, it is of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. By the way, you're not I, invited. I disagree. <laughs> Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? Ah, oh, fuck. I was swallowing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, if it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. So in that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. Doubt. Together? That's not going to happen, because you're so disgusting. Do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> it was not make me feel I want to cry. <laughs> That's almost not at all what the word said, but whatever am <laughs> I? <laughs> um, so we're all good with the old building? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Fuck it. I have never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I am excited to finally experience it. Good, you get to do all of it. No way! There's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands! 
Weren't you doing like a shaggy thing for him? I was trying. <laughs> All right. I think you need to squeak more is the uh, problem. Uh, uh, uh. Where's the game? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what? Where is also, it? Not... <laughs> also, not what Shaggy sounds like. Also, not something he's ever said, I don't think. <laughs> but what I want to know is where's the game, man? Okay. <laughs> A perfect yeah, impression. I don't want to do it either. What? Nobody's going to do it? <laughs> In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing? Decide by. <laughs> Look at all to these French honest, fries. <laughs> to be honest, I had already prepared some French fries because I assumed something like this would happen. <laughs> to go to the trouble of preparing all these fries, just what did you think would happen? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? One person cleaning? Sure, that sounds fair. Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing. Well, no hard feelings. I bet it's gonna be me. One by one, everybody took turns pulling the chopsticks Nagato <laughs> held in his hand. And when it was all said and done, Ninja was dead. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'm left with the red mark? Yeah, funny how that backfires, bud. <laughs> For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Hmm, I guess it can't be helped. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. Cool, I'll call you if I kill somebody. I thought so. What? You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home <laughs> dad. Nothing, don't worry about it. I'll take that as a compliment. I'll handle the cooking. The cooking? The cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll handle the cooking. All right. First, I need to prepare my ingredients. Then I'll start cooking at the old building. Hi, Teru Teru Hanamura! We'll go all out! I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all! Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. Let's... Let, uh, all, let's go about what? our business then. <laughs> I was also eating some breakfast ravioli. After Monokum was not the announcement. It's a good thing. We'll it's meet a good it thing then. he's in there and we're out here and we're in there and we're out there. <laughs> we'll and meet at the, the old building. <laughs> <laughs> After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. Shit's whack. I think you, I think you get more free time? <gasps> oh boy. There's still some time before the party. There's no way I can spend it staring into space in my room. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. Well, since I have some free time, it'd be, be it'd be better if I went and talked to everybody. I'm assuming Yakuza Kid is still off the books. Uh, uh yeah, I should probably open that window back up, huh? Yeah. Do, oh, boy, it's in my other bookmarks. That makes it impossible to find. Rip. Here we are. Oh, shit, I also have to open the hidden Monokumas, because we might be... Get some... Oh, let me see if Yaki is in his room. I can just peep yeah, in and yeah, peep yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I hung out with her yet? No. Okay. I'll keep her in mind. Where does Biakia live? It's like right next to me, isn't it? Uh. No, he's down the way. Uh, old building's office, which Ooh. you can't get into yet. And the last one's in Tagami's cabin, which you may or may not be able to get into. See, should I focus on hanging out with everybody or on just certain people and, like, latch onto them? Um, okay, and th this game works differently. Okay. Remember we went through and figured... Oh, is he actually home? ding a dong -a. Ding -a -dong -a. Who is it? It's me. Yeah, fuck Miyaki off. I'm just here for your bear. Where is it? Uh... It's, uh... Should be on the upper left? There you are. There we go. Wait, no, that's mine. <laughs> How dare you? That's my teddy. Give it back. I mean, do you want to hang out with them? What you gonna do about it, ham hands? I don't think we've hung out with ham hands. What you gonna do about it, ham hands? How many free times do I have right now, I guess? I don't know. Have we only done two? Check your student hand. I think I've ID. done three. And check the handbook. Uh, the handbook. Uh, handbook. As I know we did, uh, I did, told you to do Nagito because we missed out on that for the rest of the game if you fuck it up. Well, you know. Uh, 
I'm assuming report okay. card. Okay, so Nagito Ibuki. So we've only done two. So we've got two more. Where's the Ibuki? There you are, Ibuki. Really? I've only done oh, two. Oh, uh, and if you click on Monami, that's how you buy skills in this game. <sighs> you buy them with hope fragments. I feel like you so, told me this and I didn't remember. You just uh, didn't retain cool. that information. If you get six, I think you do unlock their unique skill, but you still have to buy it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good to know. Either way, there so. won't be enough free time to hang out with everybody. So. <laughs> nope. Uh, there are, let's nurse. see, four plus five, four plus four is eight, ten, so that's eighteen. Nurse. Nineteen, there are twenty free times in the game. And So, yeah. no, not enough time to hang out with everybody. Do you, do you have business with me? What should I do? Should I invite Mikan to hang out? Absolutely. Let me see if you have things to do. Is it okay if we spend time together? You're not being punished for something, are you? I spent some time today rambling on with Mikan. It looks like <laughs> Mikan and I grew panic. a little closer. <laughs> I would like to give her a present. Okay, she has a very long list of likes, but let's check the loves first. Uh, 25. Uh, nope. Okay, uh, 55. And 109. Nope. Okay. So, uh, 22. This is much easier than trying to figure out the names yes. of things. Oh, there we go. Nice. Is it really okay for me to receive such a wonderful item? Um, other than dying, I can do pretty much anything. What? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Also, I just gave her an apron. She's wearing an apron. Hmm. This one's better. Please order me around whenever you want. Oh, whoa. Um. Despite the fact that we decided to hang out, Mikan is acting suspicious and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Somehow, I feel like I did something bad to her even though I know I didn't do anything. Bully you, good girl. Not cool, Hajime. <laughs> Not cool, Hajime. <laughs> Shouts Nagito from the window of the old building across the way. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Hmm? I'm sorry. What's this all of a sudden? I thought you clearly looked like you were in a bad mood. Did I say something wrong again? Ah, what should I do? Um, would you be happy if I took my clothes off? Yes, I mean... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, why are you reacting like that? You're right, you don't want to see me naked, right? But I want my money. Correct! <laughs> I do want you to give me money. Seriously, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's no use. I feel like if I start panicking, the situation is going to get even worse. Alright, I should just calm down first. Hey, Mikan, I just want to talk to you normally. Zok? Um? Hey, it's such a beautiful day! Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, should I take off my clothes? <laughs> Seriously, you don't have to do anything like that. Come on. <laughs> this is troubling. I guess I should start talking to Mikan about something she might get excited about. Favorite, Favorite type of band guy. Favorite bandage type? I feel like that might be it, though. It, I think it is, but it's gotta still? be. Still? Um, Mikan, what type of bandage do you like the most? Oh, you just assume because I'm a nurse, I do a lot of bandages. Huh? Ah! Uh. Bandage? <laughs> Let's see. There are lots of different types these days. It's extremely convenient because there are waterproof types and sticky types. But I definitely like metal elastic types the best. They're not too constricting, but they still firmly secure wounds. I'm glad. Looks like she's getting into the conversation. Ah, sorry. I went ahead and started talking on my own. Don't worry about it. I'm the one who asked anyway. Also, I feel like I got to know you a little more. Really? Um, then let's call it a day for now. Um, you're in such a good trouble with you. I would like to talk to you again. It's been a while since anyone talked to me like this, so... Of course, any time. Any free time. 
Thank you very much. I got to go to boss. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to go our separate ways. But someday Ninja. love will find us. Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> But for some reason, I feel like Recon was staring at my back a little too long. She's not a bad person, but I don't really know how to communicate with her with her that well. Recon's report card is not based on your experience with her. Is it, oh, is Ham Hands even available right now? That's a good question. Hmm. I mean, I got oh, in his is. room. For now, I decided to return to my room. You want to hang out with good old Ham Hands? You bet. And we can figure out some Oops. of the history here because some things have happened, clearly. Yeah. He got beefy. I feel <laughs> restless. Maybe I should go for a walk. Free so slime. it's very clear that he doesn't remember the first game. Or yeah, whatever for the sure. Uh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd be like, this is really familiar. <laughs> this Shit's would be Akio's cottage, but I have no business being here. Well, good thing we got the you bear. check where he's on the map. Uh, oops. Uh, tab. He wouldn't be in somebody else's cottage, you ding dong. Don't worry about it. Who this? Pecco. Is that me? Oh no, that's Pecco. What do you mean? Why would you be on the map? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go hang out with myself. There, there are other people here also. Give me other areas. If you hit escape. How do I go to the other areas? Escape. Oh, I see. Where it says go outside, you see. Oh, there you are. At the Rocket Punch he's Market, at, by yourself. He's at the market. Oh, look. I had to buy some shit. I see. So, how do I get in there? I don't know, man. Guess I just gotta fucking walk. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I think you could've warped there. I'm not sure why I'm doing the Cowboy Biakia boss right now, but... It's not even are, right. I guess. Uh... Yeah, especially because that's not my voice. Man, that would have been an excellent time for that for that ravioli, but I've already consumed it all. Well, you know, life's not fair, and then you find Biakia hanging out next to the twenty liter cola. <laughs> Fucking the biggest colas in the existence. <laughs> Despite the fact they were prepared for the party, I shall enjoy Terror Terror's dishes as well. Does the ultimate cook's skill surpass that of the Tagami Corporation chef? What should I do? Should uh, I invite Biakia to hang out, or will he eat all my food? Probably both. So you're interested in the dishes prepared by my company's personal chef? Let me tell you about them. Let me talk to you about food. <laughs> I was forced to listen to Biakia <laughs> speak at length about the various dishes he's eaten. <laughs> Looks like Biakia let me get a little closer to him. There was a fillet mignon. <laughs> a New York... Stripe. <laughs> would you like to give Biakia a present? Definitely. What would you like okay. to give him? Uh, let me get the list. Does he like Sabay coffee? Two. Oh, wait. Uh, yep. Got I'm it. No, 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 no. Nine. I was reading the wrong list. Boy, I almost gave him some tea. Uh, no, I'm, I don't have that. Thirteen. I have that. Sweet bun bag. Why does he like sweet bun bag? Oh, peanut butter flavors. That's why. It has a logo of Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> Do you really think I'd be happy with something like this? Well, Correct. I would. <laughs> Correct. Good work, Hajime. Oh. Excellent. Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. You got any more of those? Huh, me? I don't really mind, but... There's something I've been wondering for a while, and I'd like to purge that question from my mind. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? What? Huh? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. Never had it checked? What? what? Are I'm, you saying you have I'm no fine. intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? What? Excuse me? <laughs> What's your ratio? <laughs> Jesus. Large. <laughs> it's I very swear. high. I swear, this is why I, del I dislike commoners. For some reason, Biakia's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. However, just by looking at you, I'd say that you're a 9. No, maybe an 8. Regardless, it's probably around one digit. Meanwhile, I, I'm in the triple digits. <laughs> Breaking on 4, baby. 
Be hundred percent fat. <laughs> Be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospitable, <laughs> you'd freeze to death. I see. Anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is? Uh, nope. not yet. I see. However, there is no need for you to be depressed about it. Uh, what's with that face? Nothing, I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. A reasonable assumption. Hmm, how foolish. Do you really think I'd get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you weaklings. Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. As long as Byakuya Togami is in charge, you will all know peace. I see. I am the law. <laughs> his person or his personality is so overwhelming. Remember when Byakuya Togami spent hours talking about his BMI in the other game? <laughs> he just wouldn't shut up about it. Classic Togami. <laughs> the Togami Corporation is famous worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Togami. Or Togami, however I've been pronouncing it this whole time. The ultimate affluent progeny. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Commoners should know their place and stay put. Ugh. However... If there is anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. After saying that, Byakuya gallantly strolled away. <laughs> he was <laughs> gallantly. Being, he was being pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like I got to know a little bit about Byakuya. Byakuya's report card has been updated from the of the experience with him. Byakuya left your peanut butter. Okay, I decided to re return to my room for now. You almost got stuck in the cowboy Byakuya voice there for a minute. Well, unfortunately, it's a very... Ding dong, bing bong. ...addicting voice. Very overpower and on the vocal cords. Uh -huh. I haven't spoken to my in like two weeks. Holy shit. Uh, relax. Ocean sleep. The Japanese Good night. names normally emphasize the first syllable. Ah. I didn't. Well, you know. So it's like Togami. Well, you know, he's cowboy, so I, that's why I've been going to Gami. Togami. Yeah, that sounds like a cowboy name. It's like you take out the O and put an apostrophe. Togami. Uh, good night, he says. Whatever. I have a party to attend. <laughs> I, have, I have a party to attend. <laughs> All right. Time to go to the old building by the hotel. What's he going to do about it? Fucking loser. Oh, where's the fourth one? You said it's in the old building? <gasps> yes. Okay. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, are you also here for the party? Yep, I, we're all going to the... <laughs> <laughs> Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? I'm doing Standing. a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're going to eat. I'm excited to eat Terra Terra's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Chef! Which means he's also like shift. in he's also in like the most prime position to kill somebody. Oh, <laughs> well, you know. Well, you know. What's up, Pecco? Hmm. I let Fuyuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Cool. Surprised you're alive. It's about time for the party. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'll do my best not to be in the way. So it's fine if I stay here, right? You got there. Are you really worrying about something like that? Yes. Okay. Mood. Well, don't. <laughs> maybe, maybe stop doing that. Uh, is Are you really here? worrying about? Let me stop you right there. I'm always worried. <laughs> is there anybody else out here I haven't talked to? Nope. nope. Just everybody those three else is inside. Let's skip it. Everybody else is in the party. Boop. Pa, 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 party time. So, is it, so this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for wear. I mean, it looks fine to me, but whatever. You're here. Now give me more peanut butter bites. Bring any more of the good stuff? 
You got the stuff. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Because I need to do a body check. What if you fucking body checked me like right now? Like just <laughs> poof. Shoulder tackle. <laughs> Good God. Body you check. You just fucking die on impact. <laughs> oh my wamo shinberu motherfucker. <laughs> Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to body check everybody into the wall. <laughs> that way they know their place. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. Except for my body checks. I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and he fucking body checked me. <laughs> it appears you haven't brought anything dangerous or else you might have stabbed me to prevent that. Of course I haven't. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Hmm? It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Byakuya was standing. Metal cases. Dur Duralumen, actually. I found them at the supermarket. I struggled well, with that we word were for a Well, I was telling you about food. I spotted them. I see. Or, I see. Uh, <laughs> this, this one is used to store many dangerous items I find during body checks. If they come flying off your body while I tackle you. The other one is for... Well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. It's a knife. It's what do you a mean emergencies? Knife. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Byakuya turned his back on me. Yeah, what kind of supermarket just fucking has Duralumen cases? <laughs> I guess that's the end of our talk, but... He's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. Like, ow. And what did he mean by emergencies <laughs> only? Huh. Is there a way to mess with the game files and put a, a cowboy hat on Byakuya's sprite? No. That would be fucking wild. There's gotta Probab be. Probably. There's gotta be. But I'm not gonna find out how. Oh my god, I will. Fuck. That would be cool. Office. Oh shit, where's that last Monokuma at? Uh, so, it's in the office. Yep. It's, there, I it's, see him. It's right there. He's peeking at all right, me. Alright, we got them all. Nice. Nice. All the ones we can for now, at least. There's oh, a location like in the next part of the island called Chandler Beach, and I hate it. <laughs> I love it. Where's, uh, fucking Joey There's Beach? else in here. Uh, what about the circuit breaker? Uh... Yeah, I forgot there's not hidden coins everywhere now. Nope. Sayed. This bathroom appears to be unisex. I don't need to go now. I should hurry over to the dining hall. Oh, what's up, my dude? Why are there... What? That makes no sense. Okay. Uh. Walked right into your bulge. There's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Or perhaps wafting, who can say? Wafting. <laughs> it's wafting from the kitchen. Oh my god, I should just, like, make him pris mispronounce it. I almost said prismanounce, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going, you're doing great. However, Biakia will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should have head over there as well. I mean, I'm just going to mispronounce shit anyway, so you know. There's God, no need to do it on purpose. Ball. It'll just happen. Oops. Notice his bulge. <laughs> ah, Hajime, how do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Where did you get carpet? Really? Even the carpet? Especially the carpet. I brought it from the supermarket. They just sell carpet at the supermarket. <laughs> that place sure does seem to have everything. It sure does. Uh, I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. It's pretty big still. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. Yeah, well, you drew the straw, bud. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Yeah, thanks. There are other losers to talk to. Indeed. 
Ah. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> it's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Sup, soda. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting grossed so thoroughly by a man. That was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body <laughs> check? Wait, yours sounds different than mine. <laughs> Wait, he didn't fucking tackle you into a wall? Fuck you. <laughs> Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Why did you have a wrench? Seriously, how freaking annoying. I'm a fucking mechanic. <laughs> Why did you have a wrench with you in a party? Uh, you're <coughs> fixing. Who knows? It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. I just happened to find it at the airport. <laughs> Carrying it around calms me down, oh man. Your fucking security wrench? Security wrench. <laughs> Biakia took it and now I'm not calm! But Biakia put it in that Duralumen case of his. <laughs> Sniffling. <laughs> now am I even prepared? Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. I thought he was talking about Biaki. I was like, don't let him hear you know, say that. <laughs> Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. I see. Uh, <laughs> Whatever that might mean. Whoops. I was aiming for uh, a hero and I hit you. Well, also not her name, but okay. Wait. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. It's like my hero. Nope. If he finds out we're having... Nope. Oh, if he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. We gotta do something about it. You're right. We should do something. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> so we're on the same page then. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> okay. Okay. Boy, howdy, if only someone would do something about it. Yeah, sure would be nice if somebody did something about it. <laughs> and I was close, it's Mahiru. Uh, this old place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all this trouble cleaning it. You're welcome. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of deterioration. Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. That's why I put down the carpet. <laughs> well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big a deal. Didn't he have an earring indeed? Who? Fucking Gundam. Oh, well, it comes and goes. Who knows? <laughs> it's just, it just sometimes it's in there. <laughs> but it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. As proven by the one time she did that. <laughs> She's known for it. That creepy Akia rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. Wait, yours sounds different too. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys too. Like, except for me. Not sure why. Except for, except for me, who he tackled into a wall. So, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Well. Well. Eh. <laughs> That's what those words you mean. I'm pretty in demand, you know. Sure, Jan. You're just kidding. <laughs> Bwonk. Even though it took me an entire day just to clean this hall. Why is everyone so happy? Uh, okay. I mean, you can go to the kitchen yet, I think. Oh. There are a lot of tasty looking party dishes. Meat, fish, it's all there. I didn't know there was a separate little kitchen. I don't see it. I, I guess well, I just... leave. Well, well, analyze some more shit. I guess. We've spoken to everybody in this room. Now you just gotta click on all the shit. There are a lot of fancy looking party dishes on the tables toward the front. Such luxurious looking party dishes. Looks tasty. Don't know why I didn't Is there like a fucking that. glass of wine there? <laughs> Iron plates. That reminds me. I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway, too. But why are there ir iron plates bolted onto the walls? Bolted in the most haphazard possible way. All is not what it appears to be. Eh? 
One of my four devas, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy, has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. <sighs> window? Bolted over? <laughs> there are no windows in this dining hall at all. I assume the iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering these windows you speak of? Hmm, Sandy. It appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Such a fine day. Countless lives gasp their first breath, and countless more go the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know. <laughs> Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but... This place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. But party lights, guys! <laughs> Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent protagonist ring through the dining hall. Uh, wait, isn't it Progeny? Or was he being a smartass? I think he was being a smartass. <laughs> nice. Thank you for waiting. Bop, bop, bop. Teru Teru is in the kitchen. And it appears Fuyuhiko did not come. Motherfucker. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but... It's not like you need to apologize, Pekko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but I guess he wasn't there, you know, so... It's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. What do you mean by that? More importantly, hmm? Hmm? Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Biaki's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. I thought also, he was talking Pekko's about. Got... Also, Petko's still got her fucking sword. That's what by I was about to say. I thought he was talking about her fucking <laughs> sword that she said. I also has. thought that he was talking. I mean, it's a bamboo sword, but still, though. Yeah. Dangerous. D -d dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> As he stomped his way toward the table, he fell through the fucking floor because we just analyzed how dangerous it is. Did it danger? Oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? They're all gonna all the food. Not that. Or I don't know what that was. I'll figure <laughs> her out eventually. No, I'm not. I don't care what you say. You're totally picking out. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? Hmm. It's an iron skuyoyoyer. <laughs> skuyoyoyer. <laughs> That's right. This iron skuyoyoyer is definitely a dangerous <laughs> item. It must take... I must take full responsibility and collect it. I see. Hey! It looks like everyone's here! I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the... Huh? Uh... Some messy eater ruined my arrangement! Who made this dish? Who the fuck else? That would be a me! But, um, are you a food critic? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. You could have taken the skewer without eating the meat, you know? Yeah, I mean. The, 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 the dangerous? That's churrasco. Don't know what that is actually supposed to be. That's churrasco! That's churrasco! <laughs> It's a South American meal where you stab meat on an iron skewer to cook it. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. Blah, 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 blah. How These dare you? These iron skewers are a problem. Uh, iron skewers aren't allowed either. Skewers. <laughs> if that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Hey, Ajime, come with me. I need your help. Oh, okay. Why me? It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. What does Mike? What does Michael condolences have to do with this? <laughs> Mike condolences. <laughs> God damn it! I'm so mad at you. Sometimes. The Akiya's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. What? You don't like Michael condolences? All right, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items. Thoroughly, huh? Thoroughly. Inspect it. Biakia stomped into the kitchen, and I followed after him. He stomps Biakia. everywhere. That's what he do. 
Be fucking careful. The floorboards are whack. Down here, it's fucking tile. Oh yeah. Let's get on with it then. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Byakia began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Look, I found these. These are forks and knives on that shelf. Well, yeah. Don't tell me. Those two? These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. Says you. After he's... After he said that, Byakia threw the forks and knives in, at me, <laughs> into the dirt in the case, <laughs> one after the other. And then body checked me again. <laughs> <laughs> He's really into that for some reason. You're being very thorough about this. <laughs> thorough? <laughs> Look at this fucking ham. Oh, that's the best fucking ham. Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes, too. There's even a huge meat, a huge piece of meat on bone. That Teru Teru, he sure got fired up. I don't even know if he'd be able to that I'm gonna take a drink. It seems there are no dangerous items, like that skewer in the Tarasco earlier, inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Whew. I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. Fish bones and meat bones are also dangerous items. God damn it. There's a fucking knife set right there. There appear to be various types of knives, but these... Out of the question. Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me. I'll safeguard them. Biakia grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it into the Duralumen case with the rest. So if we find somebody filled with knives later, we know who did it. <laughs> we know who did it if somebody's full of knives. <laughs> of course. Or, of course. In a smart assy tone. Uh... Equipment list. Oh, hey, that's useful. Um, this paper is... I see. It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers. Or, skewers. Yeah. 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. I don't know why you're saying this in the Biakia voice. There, oh. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. So if Piaki is going to fucking live through the whole fucking story, I'm going to have to figure something out for Hajime because it's too similar. Is it? Because I'm like, one after another, it's, ah. Because it's the same I guess. tone, I guess. The tone. same timbre. Yeah. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. But it's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. Was it the skewer you practically inhaled? Well, what's the item, bud? Oh, I leveled up. Hello. I need to check on my pet. Hey, is it necessary to go this far? I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Well, you can choke people to death, bud. Well. Really? Is that all? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there's a reason for that. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? For as long as, as, long you, can as remember. you can remember. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll just tell you a little bit of it. I cannot talk to the others about my past. I suspect, I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Biakia has a past he can't talk about? Distrust in others and being distrusted in turn? For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. But in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we're to survive here... Skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned. Now is not the time, even though I just offered. However, one day, there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will, no, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded hashtag deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. 
This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. Hey, enough with the unnecessary banner. We'd better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. D -d -d dangerous. D -d dangerous, dangerous. Yeah, got it. <coughs> Even so, he sure works us hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Ah! My knives! My knives! Ah, the kitchen's a mess! What happened in here? Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Jesus Christ. Ah, there are no knives or forks. Why? How come? I literally just said that I removed all the dangerous <laughs> I, items. I just fucking said it. Pay the fuck attention. Don't tell me. You're treating cooking utensils like a dangerous items. Well, most of the dishes are finished, but all I got to do is arrange the plates, so it's not the problem. But, but, but still. Ah, Ajime. Stop it, get off me. They're not into that sort of thing, eh? Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the one <laughs> who's depressed here. <laughs> it is I who is depressed. <laughs> no, I'm depressed. Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Skewer. Ah, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? Mmm. If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it. That's no, mate. If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? You're right, but what if he's a fucking liar? There's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well, all I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Hell the fuck yeah, I do. All right, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You too, Teru Teru. Come to the dining hall for now. Okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. That's our Biakia. Ah, they're finally move. back. Yeah, kick some tail. <laughs> hey, let's eat already. I'm starving. There's still an issue we need to address first. Eh, an issue? Who I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word, I'll do it for you. Hajime. Uh, that won't be necessary. Got it, Hajime! Fuck. The issue is where to safeguard this Duralumen case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Can't we just leave it here? I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but... We should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Someplace safe? Oh, there's a storage room at the back of this old building. Taka's warehouse. A storage room, hey? Huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Eh? Who? Who? I'll do it, of course. Uh, are you sure? I guess. If you insist. Just kidding! I'm not sure what the point of any of that was. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be lonely in there by yourself. I don't mind. I'm not really that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. Unless I'm murdering them. With my <laughs> sword. If I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. That's pretty on the nose. <laughs> However, Taro Taro has gone through the trouble of cooking. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Well, you don't have to go now. We're partying. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But if you're going to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Uh, why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there from full of cobwebs. Also, I was busy cleaning the dining hall, so busy cleaning the dining hall, that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. Rip. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there, too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty, either. 
Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Taking with her the Duralumen case and a plate piled with food. <laughs> Pico left the... Or Peko did, left the... Uh, Peko? You got it. Pico is the seagull from... I know. Pokemon. I know. From Pokemon Gen 3. I know. Uh, hmm. Seeing... See, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Seeing Peko's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy vibe. But shouldn't she have taken that other case with her too? No, that one's mine. That's mine. This is full of food. No, this case is mine. I assume. Uh, no fair. You're like the only one who got to bring their own stuff. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. This Dura Lumen case stays with me at all times. I put the key to the other case in here as well. I will. Why would you tell anybody that? Why? I will take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. More. Fuck, I still don't have a goddamn voice for you. you have More to, importantly, yeah. we're all done now, right? Let's start the party. There you go. No, there's still more. Ugh, who do you want me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already. Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Hajime, got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking about... Be Monokuma, of course. I almost said Byakuya. He's the one thing that could obviously disrupt this party. Uh... All right. So you'll let me be eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? That's not a great idea. Don't do it. Okay, good. Wait a sec. If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just gonna end up perforated like Junko. I mean, who? What? Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? S starve to death? That's a little extreme. You're extreme! I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> our opponent is not someone we can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Um... I'll do something about it. Sure would be nice if somebody did I'll, something about it. I, I'll do something about it. Do something? You? Hey now, what can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. Okay, fucking rude, first of all. But you, I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You won't? No, of course not. Do you intend to utilize Monami? Yeah, if I can talk her into helping us. She might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least, that's what I think. Ah, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily manipulated. I can hear you guys! Plus, Monami and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. Well, it's a pretty one-sided rivalry. <laughs> but will you be a... Will you really be okay, Chiaki? I don't... I still think it's dangerous. I can read. <laughs> I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. D -d -d dangerous Well then, I'll be going now. Uh, what pip? is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So it's all settled then, right? Then we can... You're right. Let's begin. All right! <laughs> <laughs> so the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you better keep me entertained! There's his earring. And with that, the party started. We played all the classic party hits, like Party Rock Anthem, and that's it. <laughs> now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Even though she's crying, eating food. She's crying, eating good food. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? She asks as she's eating. <laughs> You're already eating! <laughs> I, I, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop my hands from dropping food in my face! Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's world's tastiest and party dishes, after all. After all... No matter how full you feel, you can't help but to continue eating such exquisite delicacies. 
That is what I cook. The world's tastiest dishes. That's kind of scary, actually. You're not eating? I'm gonna eat all this by myself. Don't be out here yourself. <laughs> I'll finish. I'll figure out what her voice is eventually. I'll make a lot some more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey, everyone, while we're at it, why don't I take per uh, pictures for you guys? Well, that sounds wonderful. Please do. Snap. 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 This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together. Friends who've developed a sense of unity. Guess who's gonna fuck it up? Ugh. It's not him. Hmm. Nekamaru? Did something happen? The the party's just started, but I must return to my cottage. Don't be foolish. I won't don't be fool don't be uh I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me, Biakia. There comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. <laughs> if I don't go now, it would shame me as a man. What? Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man. So he was talking about the toilet. <laughs> if you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? I got an extra premium toilet in there. I got four ply toilet paper in there. I've been trying to use it as I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What is this blasphemy? Oh, there goes his earring. <laughs> What now? Oh. The hellhound earring. Oh. Has disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? If I said yes, would you shut the fuck up? Calm down. You probably just dropped it somewhere. Oh shit. I'm gonna shit. <laughs> shut up. Don't you dare. <laughs> hey, is it really all right if I eat all of this? Don't be an idiot. Make sure you leave some for me. Hey, Biakia, everyone, come on. I'm gonna take a picture. All right, say cheese. Shit! <laughs> Snap. Hey, why can't this you all act is... a little more mature? This party is chaos. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> beep, beep. Hmm. Beep, beep. What was that sound just now? Zip. Bzap. Uh. Um. Uh. uh. Huh? Nani. It's dark all of a sudden. Don't know whomst, but you know. I think that was Mahiru. Blackout. The, a blackout? That was Soda. Hey, I can't see anything. In that instance, as in that instant, as we stumbled around in the darkness, our fear swallowed us up like a flood. I think that's a Buki, maybe. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! I don't know what that was. The sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall and were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Hoomst. That's... I'm pretty sure that's Mahiru. Uh, anyway, come, 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 come. That was Hyoko. Don't know who that... Who? Oh, yeah. Her. Yeah. What the hell is going on here? I, don't I actually who... don't know who that was. Yeah, I don't know anybody. <laughs> because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way to my eyes will adjust. This is... Oh, I think that was Cowboy Biakia. Oh. Ow. That one I don't know. Turn that's... the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! Yeah, that's easy guess. That's Terra Terra. You guys, where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? I'll go along the wall and uh, do something about it. Will you now? Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Zap. Zap. Surprised you're all alive. Okay. Uh, shit. We gotta check on Peko. Ah. 
At that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. Oh, no. Fethys! Oh, no. <laughs> Mikon's appearance had been compromised. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, I tripped again! Seriously? How do you trip land and land like that? Yay, in an erotic pose! That's obviously a fan service moment. Maybe. Yeah, no, please don't look. Please don't look at me. <laughs> I can't take this at all. Mahiru, <laughs> it's time to snatch some shots. There's no way I can do that. <laughs> Everyone. I think it would be best if we help her already instead of just standing around and bullshitting about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, from now on, just be careful. Extremely. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. The lights are back on here, too. Where did you go? <laughs> so you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi. You were unusually useful this time. Hey! Well, no. I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Uh, then why are their lights back on? Who knows? Peko just walks in like, uh, <laughs> my bad, guys. Sorry. Yo I, yo, I turned the lights off. What happened? <laughs> Don't who knows me. You're so useless. Oh, man. Well, I fucking tried. It's not my <laughs> fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Oh my. Sonia, did something happen? <coughs> no, Piakia is miss Piakia is missing. My boy! Go somewhere. My boy! Eh? Piakia? Who could have made off with my boy? We immediately looked around the dining hall, sure enough. Biakia, my boy, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Not right. I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room, so can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Yeah, I got it. I'll just I'll go look into the office. I should go look around the hallway. I'll wait here since I'm kind of in the eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on? Yes. Yes, I, yes, I, I must I am. bathroom. I must man up and check the bathroom. <laughs> I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez, Mr. Ham Hands ran away just because there was a any bit of a little blackout. Such you a stop talking about my blight and my ham hands out there. No. If I find him, I'm going to finger flick him in the face as punishment. Oh. Even so, where did Biakia go? Where did my boy go? Fucking hell. Oh. Better not have lost Cowboy Biakia this early. What the fuck? Um, I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiaki was there. Chiaki, no! So who do you the think died? Way? I... I mean, Pekko or Biakia? Ah, hope it's not um, Pekko. She was interesting. Uh, um, or the Mafia guy, but... My name's Fuyuhiko. I got a name, you fuckos. Yeah, you know. Chiaki and Monami. Nope, that's Chiaki and Monami were standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Burp, burp. Huh? Hachime, what about the party? Oh, uh, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. You weren't invited. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Biakia pass by here? Biakia? No, I didn't. But what happened to Biakia? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Biakia vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Uh, no, nobody came out. <clears throat> if nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? 
that's if, how fucking yeah. If that's the case, we might have missed each other. <sighs> that's what I think. See, Yakuza Kid, I don't care about yet, but like Peko is interesting, and I love Biakia, so uh, I'm gonna be sad. God damn. Oh. Sounds like shit went south in there. Y'all good? <laughs> Fucking shit. <sighs> ah, Hajime, how'd it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he didn't go outside. That's weird. No one was in the storage room either. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. No one was in the office. I don't know what that was. That wasn't Shaggy. Nobody was in the office. Huh, what about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Uh, Pekko's gone too? Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. <laughs> truly, truly outrageous. Hmm? Hmm? Did something happen, Nakame? Well, do any of you smell something? Well, partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine. It's decomposed by bacteria and releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. Okay. Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting is something to be very honest about. No, I'm not talking about that. Oh, I think I found it. Kind of like a chill... Yeah, it smells like blood. No! It's one of two options, and I don't like either of them. <laughs> blood. As Akane's nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. Rude! It's coming from over there. Oh, no. Piyakia, my boy. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I think I just need to channel my habercorn, and I'll table, get there. A table at the very back of the dining hall. Okay, my boy. My boy. The smell of blood. Where in the world is at the table? It's under there, for sure. Under the for table? Reals for reals, these some might say. I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out toward the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's going to happen. With a shot, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It's the music. No. No! My boy! <laughs> Biakia! Get up! What the fuck? Rip. Oh, my cowboy! <laughs> Why? It's really fun playing this game with people who haven't played it before. My boy! It was it was okay for like three episodes, man. You can't do that. Fuck! <laughs> I guess I don't have to worry about fixing Hajime's voice. God damn it. Aww. For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw... I saw the ultimate affluent progeny. Biaki Togami, Already dead and beyond recognition. Well, no, I still recognize him. That's not what that word means, but... <laughs> Man! Words have meaning. What the fuck? Biaku? Yeah? Why? Why is Biaku Yeah. <coughs> ah, fuck. No. No! I just stood there, horrified, as showers of screams rang out behind me. I basked in the shower. Blood. As I gazed quietly at the body body of my former friend. Man, I only hung out with him once. I bet I had an... Did I have enough free times? No, I didn't have enough free times to fully advance with him. Fuck. Nope. <laughs> you never do with the first one. Good thing I got in his fucking room. Why? Yeah, this is why I was trying to get you to go in his fucking room. What is this? Yeah! This is this impossible! Don't oh, no. mess with me! 
This must be because we got the mistake! This can't be real blood, right? It's gotta be something like jam or sauce! Because if not, this. You did go to his room during the investigation, that's true. Ah. Good gracious, things quickly took a turn for the worse. My, my, now this is interesting. On this tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. M murder. Hold on, and does this mean? <laughs> of course. Biakia was killed by one of you. What? If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. Look, he has such a horrible expression on his face that you can't see, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks, by, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this. If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Biakia was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave the island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying like, you're lying that he was murdered. He just tripped. Murdered the moment he I screamed that fell word. On a, knife. <laughs> <laughs> a thick, muddy feeling of the... Ugh. A thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. <laughs> and I burped it Rising out. to my throat, preventing me from speaking. <laughs> Which means that, that I've accepted the fact that Biakia was murdered. What is this? Is that really Biakia? It should have been you. <laughs> Why did this happen? Why Biakia? Why not Pekko? I see, I see. It appears Fuyuhiko is the only one who isn't here. So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do it the usual way? Ding, ding dong, 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 ding. ding! Maybe he's just sleeping. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Class trial. Was that monitor in here the whole time? I think, yeah. I've already explained mm. this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackened. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? That's right! From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit. It can't be. Someone actually killed? There's no way. <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. I, I won't believe it. One of us killed Piakia? There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being caught by the killer. Come on, come on. <laughs> Let's hurry up and begin. What? In the fucking MA Games chat. Oh, well. Wimps. Yeah, that was some shit today. <laughs> Apparently everybody's super angry about it. Uh, an impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blacken. And it's already started. I mean, it's... I'm not thrilled about the implications, but that's that's for a stream that's not this one. Well, you know. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill somebody. Hey, what are you saying? Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says. No matter how much you interfere, there is only ever one truth. On my grandfather's name. You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's grave. Grave? Your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's plane. What happened to your grandpa? Did the plane crash? Hmm. I don't even know where to begin at this rate. Bonk. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Oh, yeah. It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. Yeah. Did you see that? The stunning display of power. Defy your big brother, and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart. <laughs> Swallow my fear. Uh, and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. Uh, if only I had my magic Oof. stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Oof. 
she's been injured. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Please, we've only got 35 minutes. <laughs> now then, in the spirit of lovey doubt and dubby deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yahoo! I wish you the best of luck! Wow. And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What does that mean? I don't understand this at all. A search for Biakia's killer. Why did it turn out like this? Yeah, Pekka, what the fuck? Weren't you guarding that? Don't worry about it. Uh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um, you can't doubt each other because you're old friends. So how did nobody hear the big schlick and the thud of Biakia? I mean, that was, might that may have been in the sound effects that we couldn't see anything during. Right. Fair enough. But Mr. Hamhands really did get killed, right? If we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? Well, all except for one of us, but I don't see how- that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there is no way I can doubt them. Gonna have to start. Seriously, did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. <sighs> you know, friends doubting each other is screams major no no. <sighs> Shut up! Just go away already, you useless piece of trash! Don't know what that oh, was. Uh, that's just scary! Piece of trash! Uh. Do we really have to do it? Fucking, yeah. No, I don't want to do something like that. I don't want to do it either. It just sounds so scared. However, it is just as Hiyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. Uh, but still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakia. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason... I'll do it. I'll investigate Biaki's death. I will do my best to prove that there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves. But that which is trying to crush us. This despair. I see. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Uh, before you start, can I say something? You already did, but go on. <laughs> in closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? Oh yeah, it wouldn't be it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. It's destroying the evidence. Look over there! <laughs> that big bulky brawny guy is perfect for the guard job. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? What happened? That guy has a sensitive heart despite his, despite his looks. Is that what that means? Um, I can't. I, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body. It's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Biakia's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Pointing! I fucking love that voice line. <laughs> Ibuki's the fucking best. <laughs> oh, did she literally say pointing? She literally said pointing for that voice line. I love it. Um, um, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to knock in your way. Well, I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy, please. So you're going to stay as well. Is that okay? And what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. No ultimate detective this time, Chief. <laughs> Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. This ain't it, Chief. The only ones who can do that are the police. And there's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. So let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakia. 
Let the performance eyes up. Nope, sorry. This is the goofy voice. Let the performance eyes up. See on your friend. How cruel. But I have no choice, right? There's no way I can do something like decline, right? Haven't heard those back to back yet. I've got to say, <laughs> pretty similar. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. I want to believe it. Piaki got killed. I don't believe it at all. It's right there, bud. Fine. I'm in. If we are to survive, this is the only path. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is. That's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope. Hmm. Even so, I still got to do it. Ta-da! Oh, fuck. You thought it was time for the investigation, but... The Monokuma file. I like that fucking Zelda sound effect. <laughs> Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a Monokuma file? Jeez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Uh... I Fucking tell me what the fucking file is. <laughs> Let's see. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Nice, you say? You're just a selfish meanie. My, my, my. Monami the meaningless mascot. You're still here? Don't put me the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Okay, you have pull my rings and come off. That was yawning. They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look it over just in case. We Dead. Fuck. <laughs> Ouch. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. And not once during all that did he go, oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I mean, if that first one is in the throat, he probably couldn't have said a word. <laughs> Fair enough. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries, and no chemicals such as poison were detected. Ugh. So Byakuya really is dead. Damn it. You promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? And now I'll never know what you're going to say to me. Aw. Aw. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be... No one told me life was gonna be this way. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> stab to... Stab, 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 stab. Stab to death at 11.30 p.m. Uh... <laughs> even so, is there really a... If there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? awful? Pretending to be awful? your ally and tricking you guys. It can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? A traitor. Stop, 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 stop. No way, just because he said a lot of serious things, it doesn't mean he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Obtain truth bullet. Monocopa number one. It's been the truth bullet's back in your handbook. It's back. And now it's finally time for the investigation music? Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right, I need to do it. If we're gonna survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Biaki, my boy. Oh, this isn't the good investigation music. That's chapter five shit, damn it. Biaki, my boy. We've been through I mean, so much, so many episodes together. We found your voice. R.I.P. in peace. We made it great. And I will. I was wrong. The music is actually pretty banging. I forgot the intro is a little blah. I'm gonna avenge you no matter what. Oh, I gotta check on my pet. <laughs> Hold up, guys. Okay, I'll, I'll avenge you no matter what. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, hold up, guys. I gotta check out my fucking Tamagotchi real quick. <laughs> Under this very table, Byakuya was... Stabbed ten times. <laughs> First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is this desk lamp. 
Looks like an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing on the table that really stands out to me. Eh. Now's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. I let out a shout as if encouraging, encouraging myself and quickly looked beneath the table. Mahiru came by and bitch slapped me. No touching the crime scene. Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron hanging in the air. It's actually extremely explainable. Enduring, enduring the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze, my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya Stop Togemi. pushing me towards Byakuya's body. The ultimate affluent progeny. <laughs> he was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. But he tried his best to leave it, lead everyone. Why did he have to end up like this? It's the only thing I can do right now. Started out with a kiss. <laughs> Poor Byakuya. Now she's probably... Now she's calling a cop. <laughs> Is it is to uncover the truth behind his death? Tape. She's becoming a crab. <laughs> what? And she's calling what? a cab. And she's calling a cab. But she's calling a cab. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Something stuck to the back of the table. Is I would this... call that the bottom of the table. But... Is this duct tape? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Duct tape man was here. There seems to be. Can't pain. believe duct tape man killed Viakia. It's crazy. There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Hmm. A knife. A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Byakia? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? A knife. Byakia thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. He even body checked me. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that Duralumen case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case. Peko. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. Where have I seen that before? In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Obtain truth, boy. Knife has been added to truth, bullet in your handbook. Oh, boy. Uh, night There's vision. some other shit. Hmm, what is this? It looks like binoculars, but... They were binoculars. Why is there a pair of binoculars under the tables? Ajumay, <laughs> those aren't binoculars. That's not a word, first of all. Uh, then what are they? Those are probably night vision goggles. Night vision binoculars? Night vision to gommels. To go goggles. <laughs> to, to goggles. <laughs> I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. Shit. Why? If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakia during the blackout? Night vision goggles. Was that a zip? Well, it's actually a handbook. Byakia's body. Oh, man. Check that boy. The body has collapsed face down under the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and the abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Monokuma file number one has been updated in your handbook. Check the truth bullets menu to review it. No. I guess I have to. Uh, you got yeah. fucking blood. The blood flowing from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. It was still going because he literally just got stabbed. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. This might be like the... Is this the first murder where we were all there? Yeah, kinda. Like where anybody was there while it happened? That's crazy. Yeah, actually, yeah. Literally everybody was here except for Fuyuhiko and Peko. Yeah. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have been spat splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. Blood stain under the table. It's been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Cowboy Biaki is fucking dead. Ugh. I'm, I'm sure I pretty much investigated what's under the table. That was like my fun voice. Despite the fact that it's just yeah, me, I fucked. think I'm working pretty hard. Do what? I said get fucked. Yeah, well I did. 
even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Cowboy Byakuya's death. I mean, yeah, yeah Yamada kind of died while people were around, sort of. Who the fuck's Yamada? And, uh, shit, what's his first name? I don't remember. It's the fat guy from the first Danganronpa. Oh, Hifumi. His name is Hifumi, that's it. His name was, I think, I thought it started with a he, but I was not getting anywhere. I mean, he died while people were with him. He didn't die because of the people that were with him. Uh, right. Thanks. Excitement. Oh, nope. Uh huh. Ah, this is the metal case Biakia had with him. I believe he said it was made of Duralumin. <laughs> Whatever that is. The last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things in this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. Oh, there's like the self defense kit, I guess. Hmm, what's this? A hard plastic case, but it's just Ooh. the case. The inside is empty. Ooh, woo. I wonder what was inside. But the one thing that really catches my attention is this small key it must be the key to the other Duralumin case. That, that other case was in the office, and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that Duralumin case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. You're safe for now, Peko. Which means the weapons inside that Duralumin case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakuya have this Duralumin case in the first place? A case packed with all of this security equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious There's just in case. There's a fucking taser in there. Yeah. Wish he had it. Wish he had it. No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. Obtain truth bullet. Dural Lumen case has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Oh, I'm so sad. I like how this game throws a box full of fucking knives at you, and then none of them have anything to do with anything. Really? <laughs> oh, hellhound earring, answer my call! Ugh. Is this effort futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? F yes! It is not a mere earring, it is the hellhound earring. A mere ring? Long ago in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this <laughs> is certainly random. <laughs> the Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood. And his drenched blood red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. Or blood pink, if you will. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. The Hellhound Earring. Sure, bud. So that I may never forget that night I battled that fearsome Pomeranian. <laughs> I wear that earring at all times. Was that really about a friggin' Pomeranian? <laughs> I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Ugh. Maybe it fell underneath the floor. Carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. Watch him just, like, start tearing them up. Gasp! <laughs> so that's what transpired. Such a clever little bauble. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the, hall, toward the wall to, uh, uh, and pressed his head against the gaps <laughs> in the floor. And peered beneath the floorboards. Ah, there it is! I have found it! Truly, that is the Hellhound Earring. <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit! I see, good for you. I'm gonna go get that now. <laughs> However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. What is a tool it probably would not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up. Fuck you! Give up what? The world? I might give up the earring. Fool, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans. 
You're so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? <laughs> this foolish me with me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. Sure, bud. I fucking love him. He wants that earring <laughs> back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. But Biakio's dead. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. But my earring, though! <laughs> <laughs> Gaps in the floorboards, bad truth, but it's like near handbook. Any of you guys lose anything in the floorboards? My camera! <laughs> <laughs> My hero, are you all right? No. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. Same. One minute, Biaki is alive and well. Yeah. And in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Yeah. Of course I'm not fine. Not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? No. That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? Then we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. <sighs> if, if, if I had only acted calmer during the blackout, Byakuya might still be alive. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Uh. Uh. Ah, jeez. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Hey, Hajime, stop bullying me. Forget about what I just said, got it? <laughs> bullying a girl, Hajime? Not cool. Not now, Nagito. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, got it. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Photos, the ones I took just before the blackout, remember? Yeah, I wish you had flash on your camera. Hey, Biakia, everyone come on, I'm gonna take a picture. Alright, say cheese. Shit! <laughs> Snap. Snap! Crackle, pop. Oh yeah, the pictures. Wanna see them? I have a digital camera, so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. Do it. Man, he's struggling over there. <laughs> he's having a bad time. Let's see, it's this photo. And this one. I took these two <laughs> photos. Gundam fucking posing is my favorite. Yeah. I took what these two photos juice. right before the blackout, but... Hey. Okay. Yeah, Biaki was real far away from that table. Yeah. Is something wrong? I didn't realize it until just now, but right before the blackout, Biaki was standing in a yeah, totally I like, different I like place how... from where we found him. Uh... I like that too, Malaga, how their talent how their talents actually fucking mean something during the cases. Yeah. Like they, they come use and them play. for things. Yeah. Wasn't his body under that table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? I guess that monitor was there the whole time. Prior to that, Biaki was standing along the wall farthest away from the table. You're right, that's pretty far. There's something Oh wait, there's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better for me to plot it out. But would that actually provide a clue? Maybe. I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Got it, then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. Alright, now that that's decided... You better work hard on your investigation, too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Hey! Do you understand what's going on? You gotta find out how Biakia died. Yeah, Getting I know. Getting bullied by a girl, Hajime. Not, Not cool. cool. <laughs> it's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. What's up, Nagato? You got two more idiots in this room to talk to. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. And then he just fucking sprints. And the bayou. <laughs> Before the blackout occurred, Biakia was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> and if Biakia's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? 
Yeah, kinda. Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> yeah. But why was Byakuya's body under a table? Working on it. Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. Although, if seeing was impossible, there's a possibility someone might have heard something. <coughs> heard something? Possibility. Are you, are you talking about her? Oh, no! Not you. I must, I must investigate my classmate's body. Yes. The fuck choked. I am the one who has medical knowledge. That's why I have to deal with it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a little bit? Why don't you calm down, Hajime? Ah. <laughs> You're right. I need to calm down first. I'm careless enough as it is. Pulling a girl? No, oh. cool. That's pretty obvious from how Pulling you fell earlier. Pulling a girl, Hajime. Fuck off, Nagito. Pulling me, Hajime? Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. You're trying to accuse something so unsightly. Yeah, you made me remember it again! <laughs> and then we needed to have the screenshot there, too! And that means that I'm full of myself and thought of everyone! Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Don't fucking worry about it! But while I got startled by the black cat, slipped on the carpet, and while I was struggling to get back up... Yeah, it's so embarrassing! Please, please erase it from your memory! Even, Even if, if you, you ask, ask me, me, I won't... Nope. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, I can't say that I saw a good tweet. <laughs> Got some th good thighs, though. I mean, I guess I can't argue with that. Embarrassing <laughs> pose has been added to the truth rule. It's actually your handbook. Why? I guess I just have that now. <laughs> what possible purpose? It's like, hey, not to traumatize you or anything, but I'm going to carry this around in my handbook. Uh, <laughs> not going to do anything with it. Totally, but just I, Check I have the air it. conditioner. I have it, just so you know. Check the air conditioner. Oh. A remote controlled air conditioner. Hmm. Air conditioner. Could it be? Hey all of you, why can't you act a little more grown up? Beep beep. Oh. Hmm? What was that sound just now? Bazap. Oh whoa. This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner's remote control. The timer is set to 11.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means... That mechanical sound before the blackout, it probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. <laughs> I said out loud... AC nice. timer. It's bad. It's truthful. Well, it's like your handbook. Nice. Now then, where else should I investigate? Uh, Hajime, a moment. Hmm? What is it? When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. I... It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? Hmm. You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. So that's why I did not want to fuck that up. Because I got no. my boy. We both harbor a special feeling towards Hope Peak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine, if we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. I mean, he's literally Makoto Naigi. I am not. 
I guess I... for now we should search the inside of this old building and listen to what the others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider this whole building the scene <laughs> of the crime. Turn into Sonia for a second there. Yielding. After all, the blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. Ah. Okay, talk to some bitches. Hey, look a bitch. Talk to. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Apparently a great man once said, investigations should be done on foot. So, that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, I... <laughs> Well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Could she, by any chance, know what happened during the blackout? Oh. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Totally. Eh, how'd you know? So you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Not only do I have the perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. That's why I pierced them a ton of times. I see. With spikes. If your hearing is if your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Yeah, I heard this. When the blackout happened, you could hear everyone's voice through the dining hall, right? Throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Just leave it to Ibuki. It'll be easy as or Ibuki, whatever. I don't care. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? La li la la! I'll hardly eat it for breakfast. Oh, you meant like it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy is for breakfast is kind of heavy. I don't. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. You should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Why is this the discussion right now? I swear to God. <laughs> Hey, there was a murder in the other room, BT Dubs. Anyway, Biaki is dead. Can you tell us what you heard? Leave it to me. I'm going to take a bite out of you. Please. I wish you wouldn't. If you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Yes. Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? <laughs> Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... That's right. It was Mahiru. Ooh, ah, it's a blackout. Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. I was right about most of these guesses. Kahaha! <laughs> what a nice remark I made. It's to the point and has its own unique charm. You're turning into Monokuma. Don't worry about it. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Everyone calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. I was feet. right about that one. What the hell? What's going on here? I think I was right about that one, too. This is... Ow. Turn the damn lights... Turn the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. God, I had it and I lost it. You guys? Where are you? Was it the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Ugh. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Alrighties, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me. Praise me. Give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Please do. Hey, Nagato, say something to her. Something oh, shit. to She's her. She's coming to bite me, literally. Oh. Hey, did something happen? No, I was no, just thinking... I was... Oh. No, fuck you. Fuck off. <laughs> no, I was just thinking about what Biakio said during the blackout. Want to step? What Biakio said during the blackout. During the blackout. <laughs> why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And the this is. No, it's more like what the hell? What's going on here? And this is. Can't just do a deep voice and call it a cowboy impression, bud. What do you mean? About that, why don't we discuss it a little more after we've investigated a little more? Still you. Oh, for now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. I do! 
Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Then praise me, let me bite ya. Stop it! Ouch, why are you really biting me? <laughs> this is okay, actually. I love the. I love every character in this. Uh, we should probably stop for now, though, because it's 1 a.m. Yeah. It's getting there. Okay. Ibuki's account has been added to this book, like your handbook. Indeed. And I Save. also have these bite marks. She's bitten. Save. Me. Save. Anyway, that's going to do it for us this week, folks. Uh, we'll finish up the investigation and probably do the trial next week, I guess. Uh, depending on how they own, long the investigation takes. Anyway, uh, I've been Super Ninja 5506. You can follow me on Twitter at Super Ninja 5506. And you can follow the channel on Twitter at Magic Abridge. You can also uh, follow Swissy on Twitter at Queen Swissy. Uh, there's also a link to our Discord channel down below the stream where you can come chat with us about Dongan Grampadon. Or Dung and uh, Tuesday Night Tussle or any of the other videos I do, like May Drop Out Online and Koyola uh, Edo Magical Second Cycle. Which you can find on my YouTube channel, which is also linked down below. It's Magic Abridged. Uh, there's also a link to the Patreon down below where you can get special access to a bunch of behind the scenes stuff and sneak previews and all that good shit. All so, yeah. you know, feel free to give that a give that a go give it a whirl anyway that's gonna do it for us this week so thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you next week with magic of monday which we'll do something for i don't know yet bye rest, rest in peace cowboy biaki i love you bye